Okay, we always start with our vocabulary section, and the first word in the vocabulary section is region. Region. Region is the same as an area. It's an area that has shared characteristics. Shared characteristics. What does that mean? Characteristics are qualities or、uh, things that are the that are that you can say about something. Adjectives are usually used to describe characteristics. For example, if someone is tall, that is a characteristic about that person. If we talk about regions or areas, and we say. It's rainy there a lot. That is a characteristic. So shared characteristics means that it's an area that the characteristics are true for the whole area, and we can see that if we look at this map. For example, the Southwest in America. What are some things that are shared in this region? Well, it's characterized by deserts. It's dry. It's hot. Uh, there's it doesn't snow during the winter. Those are characteristics that's shared by the entire region, and you can see that the region is divided into states: Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. And、uh, those areas do share those same characteristics. The, we use the same adjectives to describe all of those different states. Those states comprise or make up one region. And of course, we have the different regions、um, divided here. You can divide a country by region. You can divide the world by regions, and that's kind of what we're talking about in this lesson. Another word that's important for this lesson is geography. Geography is the study and research. Of the Earth's surface. Now, here's a little word to remember this by geo. Geo is a is a what we call a prefix. A prefix comes before the the base word or what we call the root word. And geo means Earth. So, whenever you see a word that starts with geo, you know that they're talking about the Earth. For example, geography. Geography is the study and research and making maps of the Earth's surface. Geology is the study of the Earth. So, geo means Earth. Okay, good. Our next word: cardinal directions. Cardinal just here means basic or. Uh, basic directions. Cardinal directions are the four basic, right? Cardinal and basic are similar. The four basic directions of north, south, east, and west. I did that for me. That was opposite for you, right? For you, I think east is that way and west is that way, right? For me, east is that way. So it flips around. But north and south. Okay. So those are the four cardinal directions. In other words, the four basic directions. There are other directions, of course. You can combine them, right? If you go in this direction, you're going north east, right? By the way, it's interesting. If you go this way, it's north north east, right? So those are not cardinal directions. Those are getting more complicated, right? The four basic directions: north, south, east, west. But when we talk about which direction you should go, sometimes people say go north northeast or go south southwest, for example, and that's in between those four cardinal directions. Okay. Intermediate directions. That's what I just talked about, right? Directions between the cardinal directions, and we see that on this map: northeast, northwest, southwest, and southeast. Those are the intermediate directions. Intermediate. They come in between the four cardinal directions. And as I said before, you also have.、Uh, you can also break it down even more specifically and say northeast, east, right? So you can also do that, okay, to be more specific. So cardinal directions and intermediate directions. The equator. Do you live near the equator? The equator is the middle of the Earth. If you think about the Earth as a big basketball, right, going around in space, the line that goes around the center, right, at the very、um, middle. Of that basketball, we call that the equator. 
Okay, now that's an interesting idea. It's not real, of course. If you go there, you won't see a line on the ground. That's kind of crazy, <laughs> but it's an imaginary line. We, when we think about our environment, you know, as human beings, we like to divide things. We like to measure things. We like to give names to certain features of our environment, of our surroundings, and so we have given the imaginary idea of an equator. It's an imaginary line around the middle of the Earth. And it goes like this, and you'll notice that it's interesting. It's not straight up and down, right? Because the Earth, as we learned in a science lesson before, is actually tilted. So the the line will、uh, go around like this, but it's at the it's at the fattest part of the Earth. You could say that because you know the Earth isn't actually a a, a perfectly round. Sphere. It's more. It's kind of fat around the middle because of the way it spins. Okay, and the and the gravity that's exerted on it. So it kind of bulges out a little bit at the middle. But at that area, we call it the equator. And the equator separates the north and the south part of the Earth. So if you are north of the equator, you are in the northern hemisphere. South of the equator, you're in the southern hemisphere. We'll see those ideas again. Now, on the pole, that is as far away from the equator as you can get. There are two poles, of course, right? There's only one equator because there's only one middle, but the poles are at the top and the bottom of the Earth. Okay, so the pole is the most northern or southern points of the Earth. Okay, and it's interesting because. It says here the most northern or southern points of the Earth. That's one way to look at the North Pole and the South Pole, because there are different poles. Actually, there is the magnetic pole, and then there is the、uh, the physical North Pole, the actual top of the Earth, and they're different. The magnetic North Pole is quite far off from the actual most northern point or the top of the globe. Okay, so that's interesting. But the pole, we say the North Pole and the South Pole. They're as far away from the equator as you can get. To divide, divide is to separate into two parts. Here we have a picture of a piece of bread, sandwich bread, it looks like. And if you, you know, kind of tear it apart, you got to be careful. I would use a knife, but anyway, if you don't have a knife, you just tear it apart carefully. You divide it, one for you, one for me. That's to share. Now you don't always divide things to share them. The equator divides the Earth into two parts. I said the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. The equator will divide or to separate the、uh, a thing, whether it's the Earth or a piece of bread. You divide it. You separate it into two parts. Okay. Hemisphere. Now, as I said, we're going to talk about this in a little bit. So, the northern hemisphere, as I said, here is the equator, right? This line here is the equator. Now, we have the northern hemisphere. Anything north of that line is in the northern hemisphere, okay? And anything south of this line is the southern hemisphere. Hemi means half. Sphere is a Three-dimensional round ball. So hemisphere is half of that, right? It's the top half, the northern half of that, the northern hemisphere. And again, for the southern hemisphere, same idea, right? The southern half sphere is basically what we're saying. So it's the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere. Hemisphere, hemi, half of the sphere. Hemi is half. Right, and it's right here actually. A half of the Earth that is cut according to the equator. Again, the equator is the dividing line. It is the line that divides north from south. Okay. Okay, those are our words for today. Lesson fourteen. Our Earth. Region, an area that has shared characteristics. Geography, the study and research of the Earth's surface. Cardinal directions, the four basic directions of north, south, east, and west. Intermediate directions, directions between the cardinal directions. 
equator. An imaginary line around the middle of the Earth. Pole. The most northern or southern points of the Earth. Divide. To separate into parts. Hemisphere. A half of the Earth that is cut according to the equator.